Charles D'Ambrosio has a quote. He says, where exactly do you put your hands on somebody who hurts everywhere? Um, and I wrote within them, you lay yourself gently within them and you give them all you have so they no longer have to hold all that stuff that was never theirs to begin with. On cold mornings when you are gone, I feel you closer than my neck vein. I think of your veins, wise, wide, open, wide open veins, thick ocean blue, sky blue running through me. I suck on them. They are filled, full to bursting. If in my possession, I will always drink you. On cold mornings when you were gone, I get curious. If you had me, what would you do to me? How would you use me? How does it help you to know anything about me? What is warmth? Do you need warmth? Snow makes things perfect unless it burns your bones, unless the base of your spine says it isn't so. On cold mornings when you are gone, I get to say, I don't want to. I never want to end. I don't want to know missing you. We are the lovers whose bodies smell of each other, who think the same thoughts without the need of speech, who send kisses across continents via the blessed moon. Had you asked me where I saw myself in 10 years or in 10 days, I would have said no idea because I didn't know or care. But now, ask me where my heart will be in 10 years or even 50, and I'll gladly, easily, and surely say with you, on cold mornings when you are gone, I have created a need for you. Without thought, my body gets hungry for you all the time. I want to be connected to you, member to member. I want you. I want your weight. I want your breath. I want your sweat. On cold mornings when you are gone, I want you to come home. I was 40. Like all that home is built for no one else but me. When all I want to do is lose myself. When I feel like opening something beautiful, it's her. A body that I would put together in Cosmic Tony's market of, if you can dream it, you can have it. Here's a hammer and nails and some latex, pantyhose, rips, flat irons, curls, hips, waist, everything good and full, seductive, sneaky, subtle, tasty, rough, never ceasing, whispering, clamoring, murmuring, inviting the soul to wander for a spell in abyss of solitude, to lose myself in mazes of inward contemplation. Hands so full of intention that every brush of her palm feels like she's writing a novel on my skin. Skin resembling carefully gathered stardust. A voice whispering, finally, and eyes filled with light and spontaneity. I don't care about anything else. I can melt and crumble. It doesn't matter. I live for her, for her craft, for her siren sounds, for her spell, for the dream, for these moments, for a second or more, for surrendering myself to unconditional intimacy, a moment of psychotic relief, mental reward, electric touch, smashing all self-imposed angst built on foolish fears. What excites me most is she is all I need. She is all I need. Uh, that's 122. Uh, 137. I call you beautiful. That's all I have in my repertoire. It is simple. You are not simple. Don't let anyone, especially I, simplify you to beautiful. That's easy, Nena. You weren't meant for that. You kindly behave human. You were meant to burn down the earth and graffiti the sky. I know that, but fuck, you are so damn beautiful. <laughs> you siren piece of magic, you so damn beautiful, it collapses my mouth trying to describe you. But I know, I know, I know. <laughs> A little note in there when she sent it to me that said, uh, read it like my impersonation of you. You are my majestic down-ass bitch. You are a sorcerer with lilac-painted toes. You are a witch who rides on a pair of Jeffrey Campbell heels. You are the flyest. We simply do our best to grow wings for you or take you to the coolest, dopest, highest rooftop we can find. Everything you touch belongs in a Goyard trunk on its way to a monumental museum Gucci great display. I heard that there are men with particles of you in bottles, tears that taste like pears, sweet like thyme and fingerprint reminiscence that smells like life. I heard you hold nothing back. I heard your days are fresh. I heard you're so dope your mind can't keep up. You're pulling it out piece by piece that once that what once seemed hard is now a warm up. What you bleed reminds us it's okay. 
because written all over your cosmic body is moons and moons and moons and moons and you are a galaxy of moons. You are malo. Now malo means bad, not bad as in bad, but bad as in good. And baby, you so bad, baby, it's good. And this is her second favorite. I'm no scientist or nothing like that, but damn girl, you are just such a perfect arrangement of atoms and molecules and all those little things that make life as we know it do what we do. And it's easy, no sweat off your back, easy. What I'm trying to say is gracias for your perfect construction of all those little things. Long after you've touched me, the way you handled me, have played with my hair and stroked my back and let your hands wander long after your grasp resting on my hip or my thigh or wrapped around me and simply breathing eyelashes tickling my neck as you bury your face here and here as you find all available space body pressed into mine long after i lie in bed naked i feel your skin and the way your fingers leave tingling traces of heat long after you've gone. That's 205. Uh, this is called Death by Cuddles. She's a big cuddler. Um, I get it. Stay strong. Smells appealing. Looks inviting. But I know if I get in that bed, I will never get out again. Not with those hands, not with that skin, not with those sheets. A siren and a temptress, the bed, her song, the pillow, her cry. Just a single nail across my back and there is no fight left. No way, not now, not ever. Breathe, Chris, breathe. I know, I know, I know. Let us live to love and fight and cuddle another day. <laughs> How to describe the things I'd like to do to you. I'd like to do a lot of things. They involve touching you. My hands on your body, most specifically your back. Yeah, I wanna find that spot where my hand and your back are one, not an inch of air. I wanna pull you in with that hand. Hold your head firmly and gently with both hands and look at your eyes and your lips, eyes, lips, eyes. My future looks better in your eyes and the air to breathe all of a sudden makes sense. All night, a million things going right. I get it. I would start there. Thanks, y'all. Uh, that was 3.30. Today. What's the limerick I wrote today? Yeah. It's about a fairy. Um, Yo, yeah, limericks are fun. Um, number 15, we're doing the night fairy everywhere, including down by the prairie. It's like a little piece of cloud. It's wild and proud. Oh me, it's fine. I think I'm gonna need more than a couple Hail Marys. It's <laughs> my limerick today. I have one poem that's not to eat in, because I do that. Yeah, turn the camera off. <laughs> turn the camera off. It's for you. It is. It says, oh, you, the maker, the air, the blower, the dust, you, the creator and the destroyer, you who hold tight and freely unravel, whose sons and daughters dance among birds, who dance among the dead, dance on burning ground. You lie. You empty lie, empty you, God, goddesses, lords, saviors, deities, everything. And therefore, I've brought you candy. <laughs> I will play in your light. I will pick your flowers and bring them back to you. You are the speckle of shade and sunlight, the gift that hurts. And therefore, I have brought you my heart, this heart that is now your bloom, your essence, so that you may dance among the ashes, dance among the children at play, dance among the flowers. You may dance, and I will dance with you. That's it. <laughs>